All right, onto this F-150. Now this one's getting a new cab corner and I have section procedures here and it has rough cut marks. Now it says right here, body lines are, uh, body line cuts are approximate and you could adjust it within that area. So I'm going to mark rough cuts just to start with. Actually, I'm gonna do that a little shorter. I'm gonna cut that right here and then I'll trim it back from there just to get the bulk of it off. Then we have, we have to buy the whole uniside, which is the whole side of the truck, but I'll cut just the section that I need and use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this apart and get this back cab corner section off. There it is. All right, now I got this roughly cut out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my new part. I'm gonna cut my new part long and then I'll overlap it and I'll cut through both at the same time when, whenever I make my, make my final cut. The main thing Ford recommends, they say you can section anywhere in this area. You just have to be at least 50 millimeters away from seat belt mounting points, door strikers, and hinge, hinge mounting points. So as long as you're away from those, 50 mm, at least 50 millimeters away from those, then you're good to go. So I'm gonna cut this one long, all the way up here probably for now, and cut this one right about here. You could see you could see how I cut into the second layer whenever I had it overlapping and I was cutting through both. I cut into the second one, but I cut very shallow. That's why I didn't cut all the way through. But I just wanted to score it so I know exactly where where to come back and trim it out at. Now I could come back in here and I could trim it out the rest of the way carefully. And you have to be careful as you don't want to cut into this uh, inner reinforcement here, and you don't know what's behind there until you cut it. So you always want to cut very shallow. All right, I got this cab corner sitting on there. I am ready to go ahead and fit my doors. I gotta fit my rear door. I had to do a little repair where the hinges mount. So I can hang my rear door and then my front door and uh, make sure they line up with the cab corner, make sure everything fits correctly. And then that, after that, I will be ready to drill my holes for my blind rivets across the back and go ahead and get that thing on.
All right, I got this one all fit together. I got the rear door lining up with the cab corner. The front door's fitting. I'm gonna have to do a little work, a little work on the fender still. It's giving me trouble with that edge, but that's adjustable, so I'm not worried about that. But you always want to adjust from the back forward because none of this is movable, and this is the part that I'm replacing. So I'm adjusting off of that and then working forward. But everything's fitting good, and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this cab corner, get my holes drilled for the blind rivets and get it prepped out and get it put on there. All right, I got this cab corner all welded up. Right across here, aluminum. Not the prettiest, but worked out just fine. I'm gonna have to grind them down. Once I grind them down, there'll probably be a couple little pinholes I'll have to fill in. But uh, this one, it'll look like this afterwards. All ground down, ready for fill. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this one down and fill any little small voids that might pop up. It might be one or two couple spots, but real minor, so. 